now. The exact opposite of eating beignets. They're all working it off. We're going to tell you all about the 8th Annual National Wounded Warriors Tennis Camp coming up. Good morning, San Diego. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's 917. Over 50 wounded and injured active duty service members and veterans are expected to participate in the 8th Annual National Wounded Warrior Tennis Camp this month. Ali Wagner is live at the Morley Field uh, Tennis Courts. Uh, have, you taken a ch have you taken a shot yet, or are you just standing there with your microphone? What are you doing? No. Oh, here. Can I borrow this real quick? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Hold. Here. Hold on. We'll switch. Okay. Okay. You go okay. <laughs> oh, man. Almost hit you, but oh, it's okay. You need some work. Okay, better. <laughs> I, I need work. You what play, are you talking about? You play okay. tennis like you I'm drive right, cars. Wait. Oh, Carlos, oh, be nice. Burn, Carlos, it. burn. You don't know. You weren't racing. Come on, right. I I'm challenge too you. Too chicken. Um, so, I, wait, I need work. You need work. Yes. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, Emery, I know that you have been involved in this. You're now volunteering and helping out, but a veteran yourself. Sure. Tell me uh, what branch you served in. I was in the Air Force. You were in the Air Force. Okay, and I've got Mark. You were in you Army. Were Army. Absolutely. Okay, Paul, what were you in? Air Force. Air Force. Gemma, what Army. were you in? Army. Army. Okay. The United States Marine Corps. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. I got them all represented over here. A little bit of competitive of nature now i know you guys you guys play every week because you guys are locals right yes okay yeah, what, what do you every love every what do you love about playing tennis oh i love that here at the Balboa tennis center they they it's like a little incubation center for people like to improve and get better and and it's just a great experience overall yeah i mean it seems like it's it's a universal language tennis yes it is absolutely yeah yes. anybody can play it yeah. anybody can play it anybody can play it and mentally physically it just challenge you make you do better yeah. and and get more um exposure to yourself how, what you can do and what you can't do and then learn from that and take it from there yeah it makes a big difference yes it does oh huge difference simulating, yes yeah absolutely because i know that you are young whippersnapper what, what age <laughs> what age did you pick up tennis what age how old am i i don't know <laughs> it had to be 70 or 70 Around 70, I think. Yeah. Wow. What do you What do you love about playing tennis? Oh, I love. I love first of all, I love the camaraderie, and I love the, the opportunity to come out here and keep physical. Yeah. You know, because sometimes the bones move, sometimes you don't want to move. But when you play tennis, they have to move. Uh, it's lovely. Yes. Oh, it is so fantastic, and you guys are doing good. It, it's mental and physical. That's correct. You You got to do both. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> it requires both. Well, I know that the veterans are actually, they're arriving right now. The buses are coming. So, in fact, we've got a few of the other veterans. So, these are our local guys. And then they have some of the ones, some of the 50 who are national, who perhaps haven't, have come from the East Coast. And this might be their first time ever picking up a tennis racket. Here they are arriving right now to go and jump on the court this morning. Uh, it's just a fun week you guys and and so many veterans the camaraderie the universal language of tennis that is what's going on this morning so carlos you're seeing a lot of hugs a lot of excitement to jumping on the court today and we'll yes. have more coming up from here in just a little bit back over to you all right and ali i will take a challenge and go racing with you at some point 